Good morning. It is Monday, January 22nd, and we are cruising right through January. And we have exactly what you need to know this week to create some small talk, whether you're stuck in the Zoom room or in a conference room or at your kid's sporting event. It gives you something to chat about. Sports is always a great icebreaker. So let's dive right in. As we head into the Super Bowl, here are some of the teams we might see at the big game. Let's start off with the Kansas City Chiefs Buffalo Bills game this weekend. No one enjoyed the Chiefs victory over the Bills more than a shirtless Jason Kelsey, who was chugging Bud Light and jumping out of the suite into the stands with Bills fans. Now, you might recall Jason Kelsey told his teammates on the Eagles last week after they lost that he was going to retire. He hasn't officially announced that yet, but he was there to support his brother, Travis. And in the suite with Jason was Travis's girlfriend, Taylor Swift, who was on hand to see the Chiefs advance to their sixth straight AFC championship. Now let's move on to the Detroit Lions, Tampa Bay Buccaneers game. The Lions beat the Buccaneers to head into the NFC championship game. They've only been there once, and it was in the 1991 season, and they lost. So fans, brace yourself. Detroit, brace yourself. It's going to be a great time. Now, really cool moment after the game, star rusher and Detroit native Aiden Hutchinson he was on the field, sort of with Ford Field, with this kind of blank expression on his face. He was soaking in the moment. He was watching Lions fans celebrate their longest playoff run in more than three decades. He went to high school in Michigan. He played at Michigan, and then he was drafted by the Lions. So it was a really cool moment to see him taking that all in. The San Francisco 49ers and the Green Bay Packers. Well, the 49ers came back to beat the Packers in the fourth quarter on a Christian McCaffrey touchdown. Now, a really cool moment. So we know Christian Us- Kristen Juszczyk, who designed... Taylor Swift and Taylor Lautner's jackets last weekend, and she was all over the internet. Well, she designed another another outfit for Olivia Culpo, who is the a model and is the fiance of Christian McCaffrey, and she had her custom outfit at the game, and that was really exciting to see that. Now, I did hear that um, Kristen, whose husband also plays for the Four Niners, has been in talks with the NFL to create some custom pieces for them. Last game of the weekend was the Baltimore Ravens and the Houston Texans. And the main highlight of the victory was head coach Jim Harbaugh's dance moves. They had a dance party celebrating their victory over the Texans in the locker room. And I can tell you that his dance moves, while they may not be something you want to replicate while you're out, they were certainly efficient and effective at clearing the room. It's a really great video if you want to check it out. Now, next Sunday we have the Baltimore Ravens playing the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers playing the Lions. The two winners of those games will meet up in the Super Bowl on in February. Now, before we go, it was a record-breaking weekend in women's basketball. We had a sellout crowd for the Ohio State versus Iowa Hawkeyes game. We Caitlin Clark, the best player in college basketball, plays for the Iowa Hawkeyes and they lost in overtime to Ohio State. Now, Caitlin Clark was knocked over by a fan who was rushing to the court, and she said she's okay, but I'm sure she's a little heartbroken over that big loss. Another record-breaking for women's basketball, Stanford's Tara Vanderveer is the newest winning basketball coach in NCAA history. She won her 1,203rd career victory, and she passes Duke's men's former men's head coach, Mike Krzyzewski. Congratulations to you, Tara. Quick note at the Australian Open. And then there were three. Only three of the top 10 ranked women remain in the Australian Open. That's Arena Sabalenka, Coco Goff, and Barbara Krejcikova. Sorry, I always screw up her name. Barbara Krejcikova. Now, Sabalenka and Krejcikova will play each other. And so there will only be two left if Coco wins in her next round. So check that out. Where That final will be The final of the Australian Open will be on Sunday this upcoming week. Have a great week ahead. If you want anything else we talked about, check us out at lastnightsgame.com.